Hey guys, what's up? So yesterday I posted a video showing you guys basically where I'm at with my body and what I plan to do over the next 12 months. And with that, I was kind of showing you some of the, the struggles I had along the way and where I lost my physique and so on. And with that, I then got a comment from one of my clients, Adam, um, based on what I was talking about, because what I was saying was not only am I going to do this in my body, I'm also going to do it in all four areas of life. So body being one, then also being balance and business. And Adam's comment is or went like this. He says, uh, my body has changed a lot over the past year or so, as you already know. And to be honest, I might not be fully there mentally to do it on my own yet. I'm a bit worried about regression if I focus on something else. So how can I concentrate on four things when being consistent with one is hard enough? Is this the level up process? So what I'm going to do in order to answer this is I'm going to show you Adam's transformation and where he's currently at with his body and so on. I'll explain to you how he got there and also why he now thinks mm, this was hard enough. And, you know, doing it in one area is one thing, but fuck me, doing it in four is it sounds like a, a big task. I'm not sure I'm, I'm up for that. So I'm going to break it all down and show you how this game works and how we can actually win in all areas of life at the same time. But to give it context, I'm going to show you how it works in one first. So if I just share my screen up here so you can see Adam. So this was Adam when when we first started working on his his body transformation. So he's trained with me for many years in martial arts and so on. But then, you know, life gets in the way and so on. So he was still doing the martial art, but let his nutrition go, let his sleep and so on go and wasn't doing any other training outside of his martial arts sessions as a result. This is where Adam ended up in, in the, on the left here. So this is the bigger, fatter version of Adam. And he wasn't happy with this. You know, he didn't want to be in this place like many of us don't want to be overweight and out of shape and so on. But when we let shit go, that's what happens. As a result, over time, the body starts to adapt and, and obviously the effects of our nutrition accumulate over time. And then we end up with a body that we don't want to be stuck in. So this is where Adam was. And on the right is where Adam is currently at, or pretty much. This was actually a couple of months back. Um, but that's pretty much where he is right now. Now, if I show you from the side, so yeah, as you can see, he had a bit of a gut and so on. And then we managed to, to trim him up, lose the gut and so on. And his current goal is to have a visible six pack without the need for sort of perfect lighting and and needing to kind of tense up and, and flex all the time. So that's his current goal in his body, which is awesome. I believe everyone should have a goal of some sort in their body. Now, so as you can see, these are the changes he's made. So even though Adam's comment was that he's he's sort of worried he might not be able to do it alone, he's proven that he can technically do it because it's not like I followed him around and was like, oh, you can't put that in your mouth. Oh, you make sure you do your training. Make sure he, he just had a training session. He turned up to it, done the work. And then outside of the gym, which is the other six odds no sorry um the other four days um ultimately he he done his own thing he was left to his own devices now when you only spend an hour with somebody on three days a week to four days a week then the rest of the time is down to you so yes you might think you need that person to hold you accountable and accountability is great for all of us at times but believe it or not quite often we don't need it at quite the level we think we do but regardless of that, as you can see, Adam has gotten pretty good results. And this is a, a picture he actually posted on his social media channel the other day, just kind of saying new year, new me, like this is where I'm at, basically, um, and was showing how far he's he's come so far. But the catch is, regardless of the epic results that he's gotten in his body, which obviously are contrasted a bit more here, regardless of the fact he's gotten these awesome results, there is still a part of him that worries he may not be able to maintain it if he was to try and carry on on his own. And I'll show you why that is and how if we can overcome this, one, we can not only maintain our results where we're at in that particular domain, but we can now cascade that win across multiple domains and win in all areas of life, not just the one. So I'll just get, make sure my camera is on focus. So some of you guys might have seen this model before. Others, it will be your first time. Now, essentially what we've got is this. So you are currently here, okay? So this is the current version of you. Hopefully this is bright enough for you guys to see. Let me close this down. Maybe that will brighten it a bit more. 
So this is the current version of you. Okay, so this is the what you would perceive as the small, the the weak, the tired, the overweight, or the unhealthy version. And what we're trying to get to in, essentially in our body is this much bigger, more expanded version. So it's like I'm here, I no longer like this, and I want to get to here. Now, this, if we scale it out, is a 12-month period, for example. So it's like, here's where I am and here's where I want to be by the end of the year. The problem that most people make is they go, okay, well, I'm here. That's what I want. So I now need to do all the things that this person does. And they try to do all or nothing. And overnight, particularly this time of year, of course, overnight, what they tend to do is, well, I need to completely overhaul my diet. I need to start training every single day. I need to get my sleep in order. I need to stop binging. I need to stop the and all these different things. And they obligate themselves to do a million and one things operating at the level of this individual they plan to be in a year, but they try to do it here on day one. And as a result, of course, normally when it comes to New Year's resolutions, within 17 to 19 days on average, they've failed. So on average, between 80 and 92% of people fail within the first 17 to 19 days of the year. That's not what we want. So what we do instead is go, okay, well, here's where I am. Here are the facts of my current situation. This is what we could essentially call my problem or even your pit. And essentially what we want to do is get over to here, which would be your possibility or even your peak. So here we're stuck in the pit. Here we're at the peak. So this is, this is when I've achieved my goals and become that new version of, of, of myself. Now, in between that, of course, we've got this area here, which is the gap, okay? So that is the, the, the space between these two realities. So what we do, rather than try and immediately become this person, we wanna break shit down. So instead, we break the year up. Now, we actually break the year up into 12 months, but for simplicity of the diagram, we'll break it into quarters. So we've got Q1, whoops q2 then we've got q3 and of course q4 so three or sorry four quarters of the year we break them up now what we have to remember is yes i'm eventually looking to get here but if i break this down enough all i have to operate at is the level required to get me to the end of q1 now q1 requires me to have expanded this much so i've moved from here this point up to here then by the end of Q2, I need to have expanded this much and then so on. So this grows throughout the year as we grow. So I don't have to immediately show up as this individual. Instead, I show up as this one. I just push myself outside of my comfort zone a little bit and I operate at the level required to achieve the results or to take the next step. So to achieve the results of Q1 or to take the next step required, not the end step required because this is where people fall down. So what we can see with, with Adam at present, when we look at his results that I was just showing you guys, in his body, in terms of his physical transformation, he's already here. He started here, he's now here, he's done this. But there's a catch. He says, oh, I'm not sure that I could do this on my own yet. I'm not sure I'm mentally there. So what we have is a deficit mentally. So his mental cap at present is maybe here where this red line is. So he has expanded enough that he's he's allowed himself and pushed himself to do things to get the physical outcome. But currently he's capped mentally where he's not sure that he could do it alone. So this is where we need to reframe our reality and go, well, hold on. Actually, rather than me sit in the problem or the possibility or the potential of me staying stuck here, what about the power and the possibility of the fact I've already moved beyond this? So instead of thinking from a place of, oh, shit, what if I can't maintain this? What if we think about it from, actually, that wasn't as hard as I thought. This is actually quite easy for me to do. So actually, there's no reason why I should lose this. So it's just that reframe. Rather than see the potential of losing what you've, what you've gained, why not see the potential of gaining even more than what you currently have? It's like you've already proven that you can transform yourself physically. So there's no reason why mentally and emotionally you can't do the same. You just need to take these levels of expansion up at the same time. So then what Adam could also do so that we can cascade this out across all areas of life is we go, OK, well, how did I achieve this this physical result with myself? How did I end up going from 
being the, the, the fat, the overweight, the tired, lethargic version of me to the stronger, fitter, leaner, healthier self? How did I do that? And we worked on the areas that gained the most leverage. So for Adam, for example, we know he was binging too much. So that was one of the first things we tackled. Now, of course, a lot of the time we don't want to get rid of our favorite treats, sweet snacks, but we knew that's where Adam would gain the most leverage. So rather than him trying to eat perfectly based on here's the diet you should use, Adam, instead he went, you know, I'm just going to remove that junk. And then along with that, I'll just make sure I eat more protein. And then the only two things he focused on in his nutritional approach to start getting the results that he wanted. He wasn't like, oh, I need to make sure every meal is perfect and I need the exact amount of protein and the exact number of calories and exactly this much fiber and this much uh, fat. And so, there was none of that. It was literally stop binging on shit and sedating myself with crap and make sure I get more protein. Done. That was it. That's all he had to do with his diet. Then with that, just show up and be consistent with the training. Once you show up and be consistent with the training and stimulate your body in a way that it's forced to adapt, then we provide it with the raw resources it needs through our nutrition. So get rid of the junk, increase the protein and stay as healthy as we can on the outside of that. Done. Then just get more sleep. That's the only other thing he had to do. Had a habit of staying up late gaming and so on. So we just removed a lot of that. It doesn't mean he never did it. it just means he'd done it far less. So he had a better sleep wake cycle because he chose to train at seven in the morning. And in order, in order to do that effectively, you don't want to be up, of course, until three, four, five, six in the morning and then got to go and train at seven. So he knew he had to get that in order. And that's what allowed him to get the physical changes that I was just showing you guys at the beginning of the video. Now, as I mentioned, how do we cascade this out across multiple domains at once? So if I break this down, just this last piece and show you. So we've got essentially this is this is us, okay? So we're stuck here currently inside a box. So this is you, your current reality, okay? And, and we're all within this frame, this box that we put ourselves within. And you know, that may be because of society and conditioning and education, indoctrination, and so on. So we're stuck in this box as this current version of self. Now, this box and how I see the world is determined by my stories, also by my beliefs. Sorry, that does say beliefs. Now, of course, the stories are essentially the, the operating systems with which I live by. So it's like it might be a case of, oh, I know I need to lose weight, but one of my stories might be, being healthy is boring. Being healthy means that I can't have all my favorite foods. Those are stories. Now, those stories become our beliefs and vice versa. So often our beliefs will then drive our stories. Now, with those stories and beliefs, what we then end up doing is creating rules for ourselves. So now I've got these rules that are created by my stories and my beliefs. And these rules say health is boring. I would never want to give up all of my favorite foods. And when I live by those long enough and I adhere to these rules, these stories and these beliefs long enough, they essentially become laws. So these are now the laws that govern the way that I operate on a day to day basis. Now, they may serve me or they may not. And what we would find if we broke down each individual's life and, and way of operating is they have areas of life where they're fucking excelling and and all of these rules, law, restores, beliefs are serving them. And then, of course, we'd find the flip in other areas where they're completely in inverse to, to where they need to be. Like they're the complete opposite to what we need in order for them to be the type of person or to have the results that they want and the success that they're after. So what we essentially need to do as an individual is let this version of self die. We completely need to shatter this frame and let this version die. We've got to completely let it go. Because it's not until we let this go, or at least many of the stories, the beliefs, the rules and the laws, that we can actually expand into that newer, bigger version. Now, we've already spoken about on the flip side, there is this possibility of you being a bigger, stronger, fitter, leaner, more expanded version. He's still going to have stories, beliefs, rules and laws, but they're different. They now don't go, holy shit, I'm not sure if I can do this. They're like, oh, actually, I know I can do this because I've just proved to myself in my body domain that actually I can stop being fat. I can be fit, lean, strong, and healthy. 
So if I can do it there without really putting in too much effort and overstressing myself, maybe I can apply those same principles to my being, to my balance, which is my relationships and so on, and to my business, my ability to make money, keep money and grow money. Maybe I can apply those same principles that allowed me to be successful in my body to now these other these other domains. And that's how we do it. We, we break it down piece by piece. And of course, in an ideal world, we have a system. We have a daily system where our goal and our intention is to hit daily singles. Now, I've spoken about this before in mindset videos. We're not looking for daily home runs. We're looking for daily singles because it's that accumulation of small habits over time that will build us into the person that we're trying to become. So like with Adam, we would go, okay, well, these few little habits that you brought into your lifestyle that enabled you to go from the fat guy to the fit guy, how can we now do that, for example, in money? And if Adam was happened to be broke or was struggling with funds, it's like, well, what can we now do? What simple shifts can we make that you can repeat um, consistently each week that will enable you to go from the poor broke guy to someone who's more successful or got funds available to do the things that you know you want to do? Now, I'm not saying Adam is broke or isn't broke. That's obviously he knows where he's at. He he has an idea of whether he wants more money or feels like he needs less money because some of us also sit on that side of the fence. But my point is, once you've learned to do it in one domain, it becomes much easier to cascade that success across the rest of your domains, which is why we often begin in body, because it's the best place to gain the most leverage over yourself. The new confidence and stuff that Adam feels, even though he's still a bit like, I'm not sure I can do this alone yet. He is a totally different person in the way that he shows up mentally, emotionally, and spiritually within himself as a result of fixing his physical body. Like he's he's he may not even notice it as much himself, but the way he shows up in class now is totally different to what it was at the beginning of the year. When I say class, I mean martial arts. So the way he shows up now is totally different to what it was at the beginning of last year. And I'm not the only person to notice it. The other students have noticed it as well. He's far less emotionally reactive and so on, which all in all, yes, you've made a physical change, but it proves you've made mental and emotional shifts as well. And then we take those wins and we now apply the same principles to our other areas of life. We just have to be willing to let go of what we were so that we can grow into the newer, bigger, stronger version of us that we wish to become. Now, I won't go on too much more about this because um, I don't want to keep you guys here all day. But if you have any particular questions that you want me to kind of go into a bit more detail on this and so on, then I'm more than happy to do so. I can break it down if you wish and show you exactly how it is I do this and how I manage to focus on four domains at once. So I've kind of shown you the principles and the mindsets behind it. If you want to see some of the tactics and strategies, then I can also show you those. But essentially, it comes down to having a, a way of being an operating system that enables you to show up daily. And as I say, hit those daily singles in each domain so that we're constantly expanding and elevating our internal power so that we can take bigger actions over time that lead to obviously bigger results, bigger outcomes, and therefore essentially more success based on what we perceive as individuals as being success to us. Because, of course, my idea of success might be totally different to yours. And yours might be totally different to your partners and, and so on. We're all got different ideas about what success is, what failure is, and so on. But once we get once we get clear on what it means for us, that then makes it much easier for us to build a path and then take consistent actions that can enable us to get there. So that's what I'll leave you guys with today. If you have any questions or you want me to dig into this stuff further, of course, as I always say, drop your comments in the comment section below. And if not, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Take it easy, people.